Welcome guys, speed fight time. A little speed fight coming to me, what's wrong with it? A lot of things I've spoke about before on bikes, and this is a typical example of someone not watching my videos and guessing, I guess, putting on things, not doing them quite right. There's so many bits wrong with this bike, let me show you. Catch broken. So, we're down to having to pull it to open it. Missing little bit here, but this, yeah, I like the spoilers. But what's this? I have one to go on here. I've never seen one of these before. I'm going to look for it in a bit in depth in a minute. But this is the vacuum. They've just decided not to uh, use one and buy this thing. I have one. Talk about these a lot. Although it looks old, works perfectly. Cheap Chinese carburetors, I hate them. But anyone notice something missing, like the oil pipe? You see what I mean? Oh, I pre-mix. Electric oil pump, got one. Missing covers here and here. Got two. Back to the crappy carburetor again. <laughs> How much do I hate these? Although this bike does run with it. Not happy though. Not sure if I've got one, you know. Have to have a hunt in my shed. Hey, back to carburetor. Replacement. But wait. Replacement to play with. Right, that's one of those Chinese hob ones again. Another replacement. A few bowls and needles. They came with it, so getting hotter. Do we care on more problems? Cable tie. Cable tie. What does that really mean though? That's what it means. Front end completely loose. And annoying. But wait, got a working one. All panels off. Got to sort it out, haven't I? It's only got nine thousand kilometres on the clock. Very low mileage. Straight front end. Nice to know. No headstock problems. Front shock, rear shock, all good. Switches all seem to work. Just got to play with it, haven't I? So, that's what we're going to do. Lots of parts to go on this bike. And as I say, let's get on with it. There's a few other little issues we'll do. But anyway, we're going to get all the panels off. And let's get on with it. Ah, one more thing I hear. Clearly, this is a Mark II. Clearly, this is a Mark I exhaust. Mark I's restricted. I think the handles are loose. Oh. Not watching my videos. You don't get a Mark I exhaust at about 50 quid. You might as well get off the market for a couple of pound more. That exhaust has got to come off to see how this runs. That exhaust has got to come off. But you can put a sports exhaust on there. Then this baby should fly. So, all panels off, as I say, let's get on with it. Just tacky. There's your inlet for your manifold that the vacuum should go on. Expansion bit on the pipe and a manual one. Oh, I just don't know what the crap that is. That's all coming off, new pipes. And uh, here, if it was a manual pump, for the oil would be here. But I'm guessing somewhere in there, we should find a little bit for electrics under here somewhere. Okay, not so smug mode. It's not electric pump one. They would go there and have electrics to it. With replacement vacuum and two new pipes, much better. Remember to watch my 2T video on not using cheap crap. Okay, Halfords or Putlin, them sort of ones, not that car plan stuff. And this looks a bit rubbish. Much better. Let's screw that in. It's only four bolts. Two that side, two that side. Having a tank off made it really easy to do that. Um, so, might as well do it was there, might I? Slowly coming along, but this is all minimal stuff. You know, I've got all the heavy stuff to do it, carburetor and stuff like that. But uh, kickstart off. But it just goes on, doesn't it? So why am I in my shed and the bike is missing? And you can clearly see it's not the same day. We've had 40 days of 30 plus temperatures. Today, barbecue day. And it's only bloody raining. In preparation for the barbecue, I brought hundreds of rolls. A fridge full of food, sausages, burgers, and all other things to go on the barbecue. And it rains. 
should you like Brands Hatch video? Was it thousand? <laughs> well, was that Brands Hatch? I bought some goodies. Oh, yes, Brands Hatch. I've always wanted one of these. <laughs> you can put it on the bike, all your nuts and bolts I and mean, go in there rather than me losing them around the bloody shed. No bolt is ever going to stop me. Well, I digress. Where's the bloody bike? I've been in it all and the damn thing didn't work. I got inside, I reviewed them all after I got within the bike. It was running lovely. Turned out that it hadn't recorded. For a quick update, the oil pump, as I said in the video, should have been a small manual one here or electric one under here. Well, unfortunately, someone had changed the engine and the old engine must have been manual and they put in a newer engine and it showed an electric pump. But the wiring loom didn't have electric pump wiring on it. It was different CDI. You just can't do it. So the oil pump was not there. I couldn't use the old system. It was still pre-mix. When pre-mixing, on the side of these, there's gauges, how much to put in. I generally just work out per litre, whether it's one, two or three capfuls, and that's how you work it. Too much, and the engine will smoke a lot, not enough, and it will make a little bit of noises. It's a thin balance, but it works. And that ped did work as well. The carburettor. I mean, I don't like these Chinese carburettors. The air petrol mix normally has to be wound all the way in. But it ran, and ran really well. In fact, it started immediately from every kick or electric start. I did change that horrible air filter. I really, really, really just don't like them. In today's weather, that's raining, they will just suck in moisture and it will start to bog down and not work. So I couldn't do the oil pump. I managed to fit a Speed Fight proper air box on there. And with that Chinese carburetor, it ran really well. Kickstart, changed that over, sprayed up the old one and actually kept that. That's not that bad, to be honest with you. I refitted all of the panels proper bolts everywhere. None of these annoying cable ties. They do have their benefits, but not when it comes to drilling through plastics. Use some bolts or even hot glues. I've hot glued them sometimes as well. Um, that works, but they're never gonna come off again. As for this shut off valve vacuum, I did fit the proper one and that worked, but it still leaked. Turned out it was the float. On the Chinese ones, this is a speed fight one. There's a little clip here that stops it going back and forwards. On the Chinese one, it just sits in, doesn't clip on. It wasn't shutting it off. So I took it off. This one's plastic, but on the other ones, they're not, they're metal. And you just have to adjust it a little bit. So I actually managed to get it running very, very nicely, but you still had to pre-mix it. Battery was good as well, surprisingly enough. I did have to leave it on charge for a long while. And what's in the way of the camera? Another goodie, the brand's hatch, 24 inch one. These 24 inch bars, I like £10, £3.50, bargain. So what's next? Well, it's not this Aerox, this is only parts. And I do apologise you didn't get to see the bike running. I've had to check this cam, make sure it's recording as well. This little old girl though, as I said, loads of parts. Hope you enjoyed that, at least I updated it. And uh, next video, so anyway, what's next? August, Ipswich, there's the wheel shell or something it's called where trucks, bikes and cars and all sorts can be there. I do like going to them shows, you can always pick up bits and bobs, you've got to ride there with a wife. No, it's not like today and raining, British weather, who knew? Anyway, please like, share, subscribe, I'll keep making them. Take care of yourselves. Water.